calls for dialogue there by Jacob Kaimeni, the cabinet secretary for education. But as uh, you've seen, uh, Omboko Milema, who's a union official, says that uh, it's not time to dialogue. They want their money. Now, a spot check on schools in Nairobi indicates that majority of parents played it safe and did not send their children to school. Tricks Indago visited a number of school in, uh, schools in Nairobi and now reports. These are the casualties of the ongoing teachers' strike. Students and pupils twiddling their thumbs, not knowing what to do with so much free time. For the young primary school going children, many have chosen to fill their time on the playground. Others, such as these standard eight pupils at Nairobi City Primary School, have chosen to spend their day in class, revising and catching up on their studies just as they would on any other day. The only difference is that in place of their regular teacher is a peer. This, however, is hardly the quality education they expected to receive when schools opened. For us, class eight, we are doing, we are learning because we want to pass our exams and we want to go to good schools. But for the young ones, they are just playing. In Jamhuri High School, the narrative is the same. Idle students, a few study groups, and some who have given up and headed home by 10 a.m. These students are now calling on the government to step in and put an end to the stalemate so that learning can proceed as usual. The strike has really affected us because most of the teachers are not in school, although the turnout of students is huge and most of us are in school, but we don't see the teachers and somehow we are disadvantaged because we are going to form four next year and we are really behind in the syllabus. Trade unions in the country are in full support of the strike and are calling on the government to pay the teachers as per the court orders. Trix Ingado, KTN News. Well, learning in other public schools across the country has also been paralyzed after teachers made good their threat and boycotted work to push for better pay. The Kenya National Union of Teachers is expected to hold a meeting this uh, afternoon to chart the way forward after the government said there was no money to implement the Industrial Court Award. The Teacher Service Commission is on its part expected to return to the Supreme Court for a review of the orders directing that teachers be paid their dues.